Alrighty, one of the reasons that some dogs don't like the teeter-totter and the dog walk are because they're not sure where their feet are. And the thing about dogs is they come in teeny tiny sizes and they come in great big great dane sizes. And the equipment doesn't. I'm gonna correct myself there because there's actually a teacup agility that makes special equipment for the teeny teeny tiny dogs. I think that's wonderful. But for most of us at most schools, the equipment is in one size. So the dogs have to get concerned about where their feet are on the width of this 12 inch board. You know, the dog walk is like this high. So the only reason a dog would ever be nervous about being on a board is if they weren't sure where their feet were gonna land. So you, before you ever get to the equipment, can teach your dog to figure out how to keep their feet in this small area. This board was painted like this for agility. It doesn't have to be, but it is non-skid. It's got some sand on it. Now, I also use um, telephone poles, logs. When I'm out in the woods, I teach my dogs to get up on things and I teach them to turn. It's the turning point part that's gonna teach the dog how to figure out their feet. And um, I do have Great Danes that train with me. They're the best Great Danes in the country. And um, we spend a little extra time on this so they can really understand the mechanics of where their feet go. Today, Hazel's gonna show us how to do this. And Peggy's gonna show us the little things that the handler can do to make this easy. Um, so Peggy, when you have Hazel out, I want you to have some cookies in your offside hand, that's the hand away from the dog, and you're gonna make sure that you're never feeding Hazel off to the side because that's gonna promote her to move away from the middle of the board. So all of your cookies, I like to keep my cookies behind my back because if my cookies are all over, that's gonna distract the dog. My cookies are behind my back, and I come low and in the middle. Now my knuckles are touching the board and my fingers have the cookie. I'm not putting the cookies on the board. Would I ever, 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 ever do that? Maybe some dogs might need to, to have that, but I'm also not gonna put the cookie in the dog's mouth. If the dog's head is here, I'm gonna put the cookie a little bit further out. And then my hand comes out and my hand comes down. So the dog is moving to the cookie. Otherwise, I'm gonna teach the dog to stop. This teaches the dog to keep moving. Then I'm gonna ask the dog to turn, and I'm gonna turn into the dog and go to help the dog. If he jumps off or falls off, I don't care. I'm not gonna say no. I'm not gonna pull on them. I'm just gonna let them get back on, and when four feet are on the board, they'll get that cookie. Either hand does not matter. So, what some folks do is they get so close to the board that there's not enough room for the dog's butt to turn, make the turn, and then it pushes the dog off. Other people are so far from the dog that that promotes this space for the dog to get into. So you'll learn this wonderfully magic spacing to help your dog stay on the board while he turns. And you guys, that's, I want you thinking about you know, what you're doing that's affecting your dog. Your dogs will tell you. They'll tell you everything you need to know if you learn how to really watch what's causing what. You ready to give it a try? Yeah, sure. So um, when I start, um, can you tell me, um, do I say anything? Just get on there. Just like what I'm doing. Here. I love that you asked that question. What I want to do is see, as I approach it, what the dog is thinking. Okay. So we just did all that circle work so yeah hazel may be looking up at you she may be going hey mom am i supposed to be paying attention to you right now or should i be paying attention to that board okay so do you know what the answer is what do you want her to do do you want her to look at you or do you want her to look at the board i don't know okay that's a great answer peggy that's a really great answer okay. because agility is all about your dog learning when they should pay attention to the handler and when they should pay attention to the obstacles. So what I love 
is that at the very beginning stages, I can start teaching that very concept of when you should put your attention on the obstacle. So when you bring Hazel out, don't tell her to look at you or the obstacle. Just start heading toward it. And when she looks at it, tell her, good girl, and place your cookie here. So that you're saying, when I'm approaching an obstacle, I like it that you looked at the obstacle instead of me. And just by putting it in your path is permission to look at it. Okay. Okay? Question, what if she do two on two there? Just don't, just don't go all the way down. Okay. And if she does, tell her good girl, but turn her here. Turn her here. Yeah, okay. just turn her sooner. Don't go all the okay. way to the okay. end. Okay. That's a good question. If she did her, if she did her two on two off okay, the gate. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna get her now. But I wouldn't make her wrong for doing that. Yes. So you missed it when she looked at it, Peggy. Oh, I missed it? You did, you did. You were looking at the board, not the dog. That's good. Knuckles should be touching the board. Now go slow. So you turned a little too fast and you want to put that hand behind your back each time. So now smack your lips and turn super slow with her. That's it. And pay before she looks at you. So we're trying to teach her to keep her attention on the board. So your hand, she's kind of pushing your hand around. Mm -hmm. I actually want you to glue your knuckle right there. Okay, got it, yeah. yeah, and get the cookie in her mouth quick. Good girl, baby. Okay, so come up, bring her off the board. Come here. Yeah, good, good. And hold on to her for just a second. Just hold on to her, oh, just oh, drop oh, it one hand. Come here, yeah. yeah. she wants to get back on there, and that's what we want. So just hold on to her. There you go, there you go. So Peggy, because your hand with the food is like this, she's not sure if you want her to keep her eye on the hand that has the food, or if you want her to look at the board. Do you, Hazel, come here. Hold on to her, babe. Do you know what you want her to do? So if you have a closed fist with food in it, do you want her to look at your fist? Yes. Remember your lesson this morning yes. Yes. when we had this meeting yes. come to come me? To me. Yes. So this is really good because we're understanding, hey, wait a minute. Am I meaning this thing to mean that in one scenario, but something else in a different scenario, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't, there are plenty of times where I want my dog watching my hand, but this isn't one of them. So what I do to avoid that is I put my hand behind my back and then I get the cookie in and I just keep putting my hand behind my back because if I'm holding that food like this, the dog isn't gonna be paying a lick of attention to the obstacle. And I'm trying to make my dog, just like in the circle work, we're saying it's all about me. This time with the placement of the reward, I'm trying to make it all about that. So I gotta be smart about what I'm doing with those silly cookies, okay? Now this time when you approach the board, as soon as she looks at it, tell her, yay, rock on. Okay. And then run, she may beat you to it and give her a cookie just for looking at it. All okay. right? Okay. So keep your eye on your dog. But now you're making eye contact, so she thinks you want eye contact. Oh, okay. Yeah, so move towards the board. Yep, yay! yay. Good. 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 And that cookie was delivered here. Oh, and you okay. wanna put your, good, nice and slow, don't rush. Beautiful. Knuckles on the board, Peg. So you turned too fast. Knuckles on the board. So your hand, the knuckles of your hand should touch the board when she eats. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Good. Now turn slow. You're turning too fast, sweetie. It's not about her. I want it to be about her. That's what I want. That's what I want. Turn super slow and watch her. Watch her feet. Did, Good girl. And talk to her a little bit more. Baby. Just soft. Good That's it. Baby. That's there it. And turn go. slow with her. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. she's looking at your hand again because you didn't put a beat. Yes. And then Yay. when she turns. Good. And now you're going to try to see if you can get the cookies in before she looks up. Down. No, no, no. It's tricky. Turn. Yes. Good. Good. Very good. good.